You're still listening to Kumbang To, and this is Kumbang News Macau. The Script Road Macau Literary Festival will this year run from the 6th to the 15th of October, and the organizers are now calling for volunteers for event support, event promotion, front of house service, and guest service positions and others. Application deadline is the 27th of September. For more information, visit the festival's Facebook page. South Korean boy band Gravity will have a concert in Macau on the 18th of November. The concert, entitled 2023 Gravity, the first world tour masterpiece in Macau, is organized by One Sing Entertainment and will be held in Broadway Theatre at Broadway Macau in Nipe. Around 400 Christians in Macau joined the 13th Cheer Macau Parade from the uh, 3 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. yesterday. Jointly organized by local Christian churches, the Cheer Macau Parade 2023 kicked off with an opening ceremony at the Sintra Square, after which participants went around the city either by walking or on a Cheer Macau bus to cheer the people of Macau with Christian and positive messages of encouragement. Launched in 2011, the annual Cheer Macau Parade also aims to promote the Christian culture and make known the noble character of Christ, according to the organizers. China's e-vehicle manufacturer BYD may be investing in Indonesia in the near future. The Southeast Asian Nations Coordinating Minister of Maritime and Investment Affairs Luhut bin Sar Panjaitan was quoted by various media reports in Indonesia recently. Starting next year, travellers departing Singapore's Changi Airport will no longer need to present their passport as a new automated immigration clearance system is set to replace the procedure authorities in the Southeast Asian island state announced recently. Travel documents including passports and other physical items will be replaced by biometric data taken from fingerprint scans and facial recognition technology, according to a report by Yahoo News. Back to this part of the world, Indonesian badminton player Jonathan Christie won the men's single category in the Hong Kong Open 2023 recently. And for music lovers slash concert goers slash artsy people, Clock and Flap, Hong Kong's biggest international outdoor music and arts festival, will be back in December, and the lineup is out. Among the artists to perform in the three-day festival scheduled to run from the 1st to the 3rd of December will be Pop, Alex G, and The Fly with more to come. That is all for tonight's Kumbang News Macau. Back to our music tonight, this is Justin Timberlake with Can't Stop the Feeling. Still in Kumbang to Kumbang Kumpul Barang Yop.